So the motor is on an FPV quad racer controlled by an ESC and here's one here and this one is shorted out, it's blown, it caught on fire, smoked because some water got in the ESC and uh, everything went kaput. Alright, so in this video I'm going to show you 10 easy steps how to change an ESC on an FPV racer quad. Here we go. Here's my Eosheen Falcon 250 and uh, from my fifth flight I got water in the ESC and I blew it. You can see a little burn mark there. If I plug it back in it will just smoke and uh, go on fire so I'm not going to do that. So I have to replace that ESC with this one here and uh, this red one on this side here. That's one I've replaced before so now I'm going to replace that one. Okay, so the first step is to get yourself a replacement ESC. This one here, I got this one at Banggood. I went to my local hobby shop, they didn't have any, and Banggood has tons of these online. Uh, and they're pretty cheap, so I ordered a few. Tops off, yank the side off, and right here is the ESC we gotta replace. Cut that out. Here I have to take the cover away from the existing busted ESC. Just remove all this gunk that protects the solders so they don't uh, touch each other. There we go, I can pretty much see, see the existing solder. So the next thing I have to do is just uh, Mark those wires, which one's middle, left, and right for the new ESC. Here, I'll stick a little M on this one. If you get the wires wrong on the motor, well then the motors will spin the incorrect way. And I'll put a right on this one to show this one's the right one. You know, I really should take the props off. They're getting in my way. Here's the good ESC, so now it's just a matter of unsoldering these wires here, attaching them to this ESC, soldering these wires onto the board, and connecting this cable, and everything should work. So far so good, I have the new ESC soldered, uh, the power section soldered to the board, so now it's just to solder to the motor, uh, but before I do that I have to pick out a color for shrink wrap, so I'm probably going to use something like yellow on this one. trick is not to have any crap on your soldering iron or else it just messes up your solder. There we go, that's good solder. So now I'm going to inspect it quick under a magnifying glass. So far that looks okay. Alright, do a quick test with the uh, little voltmeter here. Alright, these two touch. get a little sound. So that's good. It's coming out of there, no sound. Okay, quick test of the motors. I've got the transmitter on. Plug in a battery, just make sure all motors are turning. Props are off. Alright, let's see. Arm it. Yeah, this one's turning. This, ouch, this is the one that was fixed. Okay, lesson learned, don't put your finger there. Here we go. So this is the one that we have to make sure is turning. Looks good, no smoke, good sign. All right, so let's put everything together, put that shrink wrap on and uh, make sure it actually works. There we go, I've got the shrink wrap in place and I'll do a quick heating. Mm -hmm. 
All right, final test to make sure everything works well. Uh, the camera seems to work okay. You can see it on the ground station here. And if I move my hand in front, it's there. And I'm gonna arm the racer. And these things aren't designed to hover, but uh, I'm gonna see if I can get it to hover without smashing into anything. And try to keep it in frame, here we go. So it seems to hover pretty good. I can keep it up there in the air without crashing into anything. I'll just bring her back down. Okay. I'll bring it back. Oh, don't want to hit the ground station. So there you go. 10 easy steps. Hope that was enjoyable. Uh, subscribe because there's many more FPV racing videos coming from this here noob. Uh, who knows nothing about FPV racers and I'm learning as I go. So each time I learn something, there's a video. So if you're a beginner, you're going to love this. If you're an expert, you're going to love watching me fail every time. But uh, stay tuned, there's many more videos coming. Subscribe and fly safe.